the funny cobbler. Copy two. The cobbler was Poland's most mischievous man. He didn't just love playing pranks on people, but he was funny to look at too. Copito had enormous ears, and when he laughed, his ear legs flapped and wobbled. Some say his ears got so big because his master pulled him whenever Copito misbehaved. Just often, eventually, his ears grew so large he could store his copper tools inside them. His hammer, pliers, and his pull-up thread were all tucked away in there. One day, Copito decided to play a prank on a customer who was famous for always being in a hurry. He gave the man shoes that had heels with the tools we have been. When the man put the every time he tried to step forward, he went backward instead. The poor man couldn't get anywhere and howled with frustration. This was the final straw. Copito master and Copito lost his job. Copito decided to venture out the world and find a new master. After a few days of walking and pranking people along the way, he met a duck who was dancing around the field. We are dancing duck called. Koki to sorting away big laying eggs on the farmer said the duck rattling and dancing. So we realized that duck was a mystery maker too. Why don't you join me? I'm going to an adventure and we may play pranks together. The duck said, I love pranks. Okay, I join you. My name is Quack. So the two rascals to sit down down the road making fun of and playing pranks on anyone they passed. At the edge of the forest, they came across an old man who was sleeping soundly under a tree. I clap in this year and wake him up, said Quack. No, I am much better plan, said Kupio. Let's take off his shoes and tie the laces together. And throw him over the big branch about him, he will be so confused. That's what they did. And they hid behind the tree and waited when the old man wake up. Yes, sad to see his shoes were missing and passed it to the dangling from the vast amount he said. He jumped up to grab them, but as he did so, Kupio pulled a string to the shoes, moved out of his face. The old woman gave up Kokito and the string had soon dangled down again. Then the old man jumped Kokito to pull the string. This went on for some time. At last, the old woman was so frustrated and his feet were so cold. The ground had begun to stop. She had seen down his face. Quack, what is happening to the old man? I asked Kokito. I don't know, said Quack. It looked like they are leaking.